You know what day it is today. May the 4th be with you. A few of our friends, <laughs> along with Mel Camp, Star Wars enthusiasts of Houston, they are um, kind of taking over KPRC2 today. <laughs> Mel Camp is with them. Hi, Mel. Oh my goodness, guys, I've, I've got the, when someone says to you, may the fourth be with you, you say, and also with you, we have our lightsabers, we have the costumes and all the fun. We're going to find out a way that you can use your force for good coming up on Houston Life. Don't go away, it's going to be fun. Wow. Still ahead, may the fourth be with you. The force is certainly strong today. A few of our friends from the Star Wars enthusiasts of Houston are showing us how to do Star Wars Day right. We will take a closer look at some cool collectibles and what goes into those costumes. All right. Now let's check in with Mel Camp and see where she and our friends from the Star Wars of Houston have gotten to. The force is strong, Mel. Where are you guys at? Oh my goodness, look at where we are. We're in the hallway. Do you know what this means? We are headed to Studio B, so we are on our way. We're going to find out a whole lot more about what it takes to be one of these guys. All these cool little collectibles they have and how you can use the force to do good. Watch out. Here we come. Welcome back to Houston Life on this Thursday, May 4th. I feel like we need a nickel for every time we've said May the 4th. Or a drink. <gasps> Oh, I like what? the way you think. <laughs> okay. I like that. There you go. <laughs> well, now we have had a bit of a KPRC2 takeover today. Some of the Star Wars enthusiasts of Houston have been hanging out right here at the station, making sure that we do Star Wars Day right. Yeah, and you know our very own Mel Camp could not resist. She's been hanging out with a group, and she has some fun facts to share, as well as a great way you can use your own force for good to help the Houston Food Bank. Mel, we love that. Oh, my goodness. I've had so much fun all morning, Kristen. Thank Thanks for bringing some of your, you know, you guys are just a, such a great group. And this is only a Thank small you. part of the Star Wars enthusiast of Houston. How many people That's in right. your group? We have over 900 members in our group. Oh my so, goodness. Yeah. So you're the founder. Um, so you know a, bit, a thing or two about being a Star Wars fan. When did you get into it? Well, when in 1977, I actually saw the original A New Hope in theaters with my grandmother. So I have been a fan most of my life. Okay, does, does Kristen out fan you? I mean, I don't know, you got some really cool things and we brought the friends along. The friends and the fans, you guys look so fantastic. Take a look at this. I just love it. I mean, I found out that everybody has got several costumes. I mean, how many have you got? Um, I'm working on my sixth costume. So I've got five okay. working on six. This is so awesome. If someone wants to join the group, what's the deal with that? It's really easy to get involved. You can find our group on Facebook and we welcome everyone. We're very inclusive. Everyone from the casual fan to the uber fan. So it's something for everybody. And you know what I like is you don't actually have to get dressed up if you don't want to because I think a lot goes into the costumes and I'm all for getting dressed up like any old excuse but um, and this is absolutely fantastic but you really can go as low key or as full on as you want to. Exactly. You can attend events in fan shirts you can come in costume, cosplay, so it's it's whatever you're comfortable with. And Star Wars really transcends all demographics. It transcends so many things. It's There's something for everybody. It's so awesome. I really want to show off. I think Simone has the most awesome lightsaber. It's a double lightsaber. Let's yeah, talk about this. She's got a Kristen. saber staff. So this is a saber staff. And what's neat about this one, it does have sound effects and you can duel with it, but it also, with saber staffs, you can break it apart and it becomes, it goes from one long saber staff into two. You've got to show us your sabers, guys. This is so cool. And Jeff has a completely different saber. Yes. Um, oh, yeah, Jeff here it is. This right in front of me. Saber. The dark saber. Oh, so for all of oh. you Mandalorian fans, you listen to that dark sound. saber. Yeah, that's so awesome. It's really cool. I mean, I, you've got seven sabers. Listen to this. It sounds so good. How many you've got? How many savers in your house? In our household, we've got 16 lightsabers. Can this be mine? I think I'm going to buy this off you, Simone. This is so awesome. This might be my first saber. So during May, May the 4th, it's usually a great time to buy a saber, isn't it? It is, it is. So there are a lot of uh, saber companies right now that have sales and specials for May the 4th for Star Wars. Oh, that's really cool. But you know what? The coolest thing is... Here you go. I'm going to give that back to you. I can't steal it. I can't steal it. The coolest thing is, is you guys 
guys get together and have a lot of fun, but you do so many things for charity. We do. And supporting the Houston Food Bank is a big thing that you do. And coming up on Saturday, you have Feed the Force. We do. We uh, started Feed the Force in 2015, around the time of The Force Awakens, and it started as an annual food drive for the Houston Food Bank. It expanded to a semi-annual, so every May and every December, and that's coming up this Saturday, so definitely come and help us. Donate your canned goods and support the Houston Food Bank, and we will be in cosplay. Oh my gosh, I love it. I think you should stand with the gang. Put your, look at this, you're a, you're a very special thing. Pilot. Look at this, it's so fantastic. You can like strike a pose. You guys look so, so awesome. But I think that's gonna be a really fun event. Come and join you guys and um, do some awesome things. Feed the force, be a force for good. I mean, it's yes. so great when you can get together, have fun. Do you go by nerds? Do you say nerds or not? No? Nerds? <laughs> I was going to say nerd out. Nerd out. <laughs> Fan out. <laughs> Fan out. All right. Mel's been corrected and I will take it. But um, right. so fantastic. So if you want to help Feed the Force Food Drive, it's noon until 6 this Saturday at the Regal Edwards Marquee on I-10. So much fun. We'll have all the details for you on Houston Life website. Just go to houstonlife.tv. You know where to go. Guys, I want to say it to you. May the force be with you. Thank you. Uh, Mel, Lauren. we need to know how to pr appropriately hold the lightsaber. Ooh. We need a lesson in how to stand with it. And nerds, how could you even ask a question like uh, that, Mel? I'm sorry. <laughs> that is so rude. Someone get her with your lightsaber. I would be a proud nerd. <laughs> Thank you, guys. All right.